Patients with portal hypertension may be asymptomatic or present with symptoms due to variceal bleeding, ascites, encephalopathy, or hypersplenism. Variceal hemorrhage can occur most commonly at the gastroesophageal junction and result in death. The TIPS procedure creates an artificial conduit from the portal to the systemic venous circulation to resolve portal hypertension and recurrent gastroesophageal varices. A small incision is made in the neck to access the internal jugular vein. A guide wire, followed by a sheath, is advanced into the internal jugular vein, ending in the right hepatic vein. A catheter is advanced over the wire into the hepatic vein. After the wire is removed, indirect pressure is measured using a balloon at the tip of the catheter. Once the catheter is removed, a long curved needle is placed through the sheath and thrust through the wall of the hepatic vein and adjacent parenchyma into a major branch of the portal vein. A portal venogram is performed via the needle to confirm proper placement. A wire is advanced through the needle. After the needle is removed, a pigtail catheter is advanced over the wire. The wire is removed. Direct pressure is measured in the portal vein to check for a significant gradient. The wire is placed back into the portal vein and the pigtail catheter is removed. A balloon catheter is used to dilate the tract between the hepatic and portal veins. The balloon catheter is removed and the sheath is advanced over the guide wire. The stent is advanced through the sheath until it is in proper position, at least 2 cm into the portal vein. The sheath is removed and the distal 2 cm of the stent in the portal vein expands. The ripcord is pulled slowly to open the stent. Portal vein pressure is checked to make sure it has lowered. Everything except the stent is removed. This stent routes the portal flow directly into the hepatic vein, bypassing the liver.